And the Citadel of Adun coming up for best. So we are seeing a very similar strategy from both players. We probably are going to see that gigantic Templar battle in the middle. Uh, either that or a Dark Templar standoff. That's always fun to see in a Protoss versus Protoss 2. Templar Archives coming up for Baco. It's always fun to see uh, <laughs> the guys try to eliminate each other, try to find those Dark Templar and get them before they can snipe Nexuses or something like that. But yeah, both players are just mackering up. They're both getting a pretty sizable force of Dragoons and Zealots here before everything goes down. And Bako might actually be thinking about taking another base here, which could end up being suicide for him. Best is definitely not committing to another base at this point. He's just committing to that one base, to his extra base. Yes, another Nexus coming down for Bako. So Bako is heaving up. Uh, he's heavily, heavily mackering up at this point. So that is going to be the branching strategy here. He's going to have less troops on the ground, but if he holds this off long enough, he's eventually going to be able to pump more from more gateways here and uh, fight Best off. And Best, I think, is going for his Nexus as well. Yeah, he is at, at the uh, 3 o'clock position, so this is going to be a very heavy game, heavy macro game from both players, and I think this is going to end. Oh, the High Templar are out already. So we'll see if uh, Bako and Best decide to go for Archons or Templar with Storm. Bako is putting down a cannon just for defensive purposes, just in case the Dark Templar decides to come through, but also simply to wall off, to let, not let those observers have free range, and just to act as minor defensive installments. In a PvP, you don't really want to go too cannon heavy, uh, because you want to get more Dragoons up instead. Bako does have a few t High Templar on the field right now. Does actually have a shuttle, so we're going to see what he's actually going to go for a drop. And what he's going to try to drop, uh, try, go for a High Templar drop right on top of this would be awesome. Beast is sitting there going, ugh, oh, I'm not going to be allowed to play today, am I? Oh, come on. I want to kick somebody's ass after I lost in the MSL. So he's going to be a little bit frustrated. Both players adding in a crap load of gateways. Bako getting his third is already up, so he's going to have some probes coming in right now. And this just does have the make of one huge setup for one huge battle that's going to end up with one huge victory for SK, SK Telecom T1. Whatever, man. Whatever. But yeah, it looks like Baku is thinking about doing that harassment with his shuttle. He's going to come in with a couple of Templar and try to storm uh, Best base here. But Best, I'm sure, is mindful of this. He had an observer in the area. And why are they switching to fans right now? This is a pivotal moment. The shuttle coming in right now for Baku is being spotted by Best's observer. So Best spotted this with his observer, I believe. Yeah, he definitely sees us now. He's going to try to snipe that shuttle. He has complete vision here, so I think the shuttle is going to go down. Templar doing nothing. There's a storm that hits nothing. I think nothing went down there. So epic fail from Bako. He's trying to come in with troops at the same time, but if those Templar had done something there, that would have been a, a smart attack on his part. But he's got to fall back here. And it uh, looks like the macro monster best might be coming back here. He does have a lot more troops. And it looks like Bako is finally getting out a lot of Templar of his own. This is going to be a big storm battle from these guys. And I think uh, that Bako has been committing to more Templar than Best does. Uh, if I saw that correctly, some more pylons coming down for both players. They're both, I think they're both just going to stick to this number of bases because taking a fourth base could be uh, suicide at this point because there's just so many troops on the ground for both. And Best is going to go for a shuttle harassment. He's going to try to come in from the top here. And he's going to be met by some Dragoons if those Dragoons do stay there from Baku. A lot of gateways coming up from these guys. So, yeah, looks like Best is just hanging out. He's probably inside of Baku's base with some observers. Just, oh, a Dark Templar from Best. He's going to try to sneak in with a Dark Templar, try to snipe something there because it looks like, yeah, I think that Baku might be a little bit further down on uh, observer count than Best is. Best has had a lot of observers out there, and uh, the observers have just been inside of uh, Best base. And oh, I think this is going to be the big battle. We're going to see whether troops running up right down the middle on both sides. Dark Temple trying to get through, trying to spot the bases. Apparently, Bako trying to set up for a fourth. Both players mining off three bases so far should be up to almost two gateways. That <laughs> snipes the pro before he can even think about putting down a Nexus. 
And let's see, the shuttle still flying around. Did not actually, I'm not sure if it picked anything up, but forces coming on all sides. Best is actually putting a lot of his force up to the upper right, wondering whether actually trying to put up another base. Best is the kind of player, despite everything, despite him lacking, he's still gonna get his Dark Templars killed, but still, he's the type of guy that just knows when to put down a base. I'm gonna put down a base now, which is exactly what he's doing right there, putting down a base now. And when he puts down a base, it's gonna come out at just the right time, kill everything he needs to kill. Pylon might have actually not spotted that shuttle. There are a couple of Dragoons, Dragoons ready there just to see what that shuttle managed to do. Dragoons ready in position just to try to kill that shuttle as it tries to fly in. Best is going to have to get a shuttle in at right the correct time, but he actually does manage to get through back on with no defenses. Right, the shuttle going right for the probe line. Just a cannon to defend. Dark Templar going to come in. There are going to be pros to be able to attack that, but our two Dark Templar, the cannon goes down. No observers. Two Dark Templar going to be killing a bunch of stuff. You know, in the middle, crap load of storms are both players. <laughs> Look at all those storms coming in from best. Holy crap, storming everything. A back -o had melted goons all over the place. Well, back best, meanwhile, doing this Killing probes all over the place, going for another base, trying to, did not manage to snipe a cannon yet again, but did a lot of damage. I'm not even sure how many probes he does. Meanwhile, pushing Backo back, pushing his entire army back. Backo going to be trying to hold the fort at his choke here, but back, oh, best with so many forces, so many Dragoons running up for So now Backo's going to try to get a height advantage, trying to hold himself off that way. So, uh, let's see, more storm going to come in on Templar, storming some more troops, some of Oh man, storming everything all wow. over the place. Backo getting everything stormed. Best with absolutely brilliant storms taking everything out. And there is, I do not know, this is it. This is GG right here. Best did so much economic damage, so much army damage. Even if Backo barely manages to push him back here with Zealots, which I don't think is going to happen, he'll still going to lose this. Looking at the coach of Quasling, he's like, ugh, I can't. Ugh, why is this guy in our team again? Ugh. So, yeah, best clinching it here for him. One storm coming off from backhoe, but no chance whatsoever. He morphed an Archon. Best has broken his front. Reinforcements imminent any second now, and that is going to be it. The hoe just got owned. So, yes, <laughs> SK Telecom 1 is going to take round one of the G Pro League G Grand Finals. GG from backhoe. Poor Backo, but yeah, best played brilliant, brilliantly there. Damn near immaculate play from him. I haven't seen that kind of play from him in a long time, maybe since last year. So it's good to see him back on his macro game. He definitely played the macro game there and got out a ton of troops. Yeah, very nicely played by all of the SK Telecom 1 guys today, especially Fantasy. That first game was so epic. Let's see if best has anything prepared. Oh, my God. the freaking is that a crocodile helmet she's trying to force a crocodile helmet on him is that sort of a weird way of korean saying i want to have sex with you later and a freaking sword <laughs> he's slaying a monster he's slaying a monster jesus christ i guess that's supposed to be a dragon maybe maybe i don't know but yeah, Oz looking very disappointed there, but they do have another chance tomorrow where they will completely destroy SKT1 and end up taking the entire series. This has been Nuke and Ranchin. We will see you tomorrow, maybe with another commentator for a triple commentary, we'll see, uh, of the round two of the Pro League Grand Finals. See you guys then. Yes, and once SK Telecom T1 finished totally kicking Hua Sung Oz's ass, Jaden is going to sit down, cry, then go and cuddle with Bako to mend his wounds. Eh, better than SK Tranny 1, I guess. <laughs>